running down the street when I heard roaring sirens from around the corner. I quickly leaped behind a dumpster in a nearby alleyway. My heart was pounding, making me feel cold inside. The police cars raced by the alley faster than lightning. I sat down with my back against the dumpster, sweat pouring down my face. This was the biggest robbery yet, and everything went wrong. All I could think about was how my crew abandoned me after all we had been through together. We turned to a life of crime when we were just 12 years old, as many criminals do. My crew was the only real family that I ever had, and they just abandoned me. The more I thought about it, the angrier I got. Suddenly, my anger faded away, and I started crying. I couldn't remember the last time I had cried. I was still sitting there, with my back against the dumpster, when I started to hear more sirens, louder and meaner than before. Just when I thought that things couldn't get worse, I hear helicopters swarming around the skies. I peeked out from behind the dumpster and saw spotlights coming down from the helicopters trying to locate me. The spotlight hit my face almost immediately. I quickly pulled my head back to cover, but it was too late. I had been caught. I soon heard a police officer speaking into a megaphone, telling me to come out with my hands up. This was the moment where I had to make the biggest decision of my life. The entire block was surrounded, so I wouldn't have made it too far if I tried to run. I knew that I had to surrender. As I slowly stood up, my life flashed before my eyes. My entire life revolved around robberies and my crew, who just gave up on me. I started walking out of the alley with my hands up saw police everywhere. I had never seen so many cops in the same place before. One of them approached me as he got his handcuffs ready. That's when I knew it was all over.